Hello, my name is Nick Quinn. And I'm Shane Vernier. And I'm Connor Woods. We are the market analyst team at howtotrade.com and together we're going to explain everything you need to know about trading the bullish Harami pattern. So let's get started. A bullish Harami is a candle pattern that forms at the end of a bear market and signals a reversal in trend at the end of a bear market. You need two candles to complete the pattern and they have a very distinct structure. The first one is a bearish candle which leads us to the bottom of the market and then the second one, the bullish candle, tends to sit with inside, the body sits with inside the, uh, the body of the first candle. The second candle has to be bullish and the first candle has to be bearish. That's the overall pattern of it but let's break down the structure and see exactly how we'd go about identifying it. A bullish harami is a classic candle formation and this is basically what it looks like. You need two candles to complete the pattern and the first one needs to be a bearish candle which has got quite a long body and the second is a bullish reversal candle which is a much smaller but sits with inside the bearish candle. Now you'll find a lot of these in price action so you're certainly not going to want to just trade it on its own. Maybe add some other filters in there to help qualify a reversal because we'd be looking to trade to the long side of this type of setup. It could be maybe that we add a, a level of support in there as well as confirmation. Another thing that you could do is maybe add a momentum indicator in so that when we do get the reversal we're, we're looking for confirmation that momentum has turned uh, within an indicator as well. If you did want to then go ahead and trade this, the classic way of then doing that would be to wait for the next candle along to be bullish and then you look for that to confirm the change in the direction and then that's when we'd enter the market and we go with it. So what you would potentially do is you'd look for uh, a bullish candle, but you'd be looking for the close to be above this high of the, of the bullish candle. Once this close uh, 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 moves above here and then we get that print there, that would be potentially the clue or, or the trigger to then maybe get along the market. From there, potentially what we would do is you would obviously look to place a stop and the classic way of doing that would clearly be under some of the structure here, very aggressive under, under, uh, uh, under this candle here, certainly more conservative and a more classical way of doing it by sticking a stop loss under the actual Harami setup itself. But that's what it looks like and that's how we would identify it in a price chart. Okay, so let's have a look at an example on the chart. Now, actually identifying this bullish Harami pattern on a trading chart is fairly straightforward and easy. However, finding the trading pattern is not usually enough. And what you'll need is potentially to combine it with other indicators. So we're going to use the RSI indicator um, in this example. So what we're looking for um, is we're looking to, to find this bullish Harami pattern. And what we're looking for is a, a downtrend in market, which we can see we've got here. The market's trending to the downside. And this bullish Harami is going to indicate to us that the market uh, could be about to reverse. Now, what we want is when I get my drawings on the chart, is at the end of the downtrend, what you'll see is this two candlestick chart pattern forming this bullish Harami. And what we've got is we've got one bearish candle with a large body. And then we've got this second candle, which is a ball candle, but it has a small body. It's normally about roughly 25% um, of what the bear candle is. And if I zoom right in, you can see that. The reason it's not enough on its own is we want to use these indicators to give us some confirmation bias that the, the market is truly going to be reversing. And what you can see on this RSI indicator is we've got this RSI crossover where this yellow line is crossing over the purple line, which is an indication to us that the trend is starting to change. Now, as a, as a trader, what we'd look for is we'd look for this second candle to finish positive, and we'd look at this second candle to finish bullish, and then we may enter uh, a long position at the closure of this candle. The stop losses normally sit just below uh, the second ball candle of that bullish Harami pattern. And with your targets in mind, uh, you may want to target recent highs, um, but you can see that this, this trade in particular, if we move it all the way along, yielded a fantastic 8.2. Risk reward trade from this bullish Harama we had here, and you can see how that trend's changed after that pattern started to come in, and we got that RSI crossover. This is a great way to use this bullish Harami chart pattern. Here are the pros and cons for the bullish Harami pattern. First, the pros: the bullish Harami is easy to identify in the live market. It also has the potential for high reward trades as the pattern occurs at the beginning of a bullish trend. 
Lastly, it is an effective chart pattern when used in combination with other technical indicators like the MACD or Fibonacci support and resistance levels. On the con side, the bullish Harami is considered as a high risk trade as you basically enter a long position at the bottom of a downward trend. So market entry can be tricky and fake outs are possible. It also requires other technical indicators to confirm the trend. And that's where your MACD and Fibonacci support and resistance levels come in. Lastly, the bullish Harami pattern does not occur frequently in the live market. So if you're working on larger time frames, you may be waiting a while to actually spot a bullish Harami in the live market. Now, let's review some of the key takeaways from the bullish Harami pattern. Number one, the bullish Harami is a two candlestick chart pattern that appears at the end of a downward trend and signals that the current trend is about to reverse. Number two, the pattern consists of one long bearish candle followed by a second smaller bullish candle. Number three, it is best to use other technical indicators to confirm the trend reversal pattern. Those include MACD, RSI, and stochastics. And lastly, adding Fibonacci support and resistance zones can help place stop loss orders and take profit levels in the live market. Now, if you want to learn more about the bullish Harami pattern, be sure to check out the How to Trade Trading Academy inside our trading room. There, you'll find a longer form tutorial where we'll show you how to fit the bullish Harami into your own trading methodology. We'll then demonstrate how to take that plan and trade it against real market price action. You'll have everything you need to practice and gain valuable market experience with the bullish Harami. Then, once you're ready, feel free to join our How to Trade Funded Trader program.